Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Tuesday, January 23rd Board of Selectmen's meeting. Uh, I'll read the agenda. 7 o'clock, we'll have citizens' input. Uh, 7.05, uh, we'll introduce Nick Riccio. Uh, 7.10, Mark Forensic, John Gibson. 7.15, public hearing, Better Food Foxborough LLC, DBA Tavolinos, and Lake Bo Lakeview Pavilion. And 7.40, uh, CRGE, Foxborough LLC, DBA Toby Keese, I love this bar and grill, change of manager. 7.50, Selectman's update. 8 o'clock, town manager's update. 8.10, assistant town manager's update. And then we have a bunch of uh, action items. Uh, Mary Beth, because you are late, you can lead us in the <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, a little bit after 7, is anybody here for citizens' input? Anybody? Anybody? Walsh, A Pond Ave. Okay. So, um, had a pretty big game here on Sunday. And I don't even think that the trophy was given out before the phone and the messages started to the Walsh House. Um, what are we going to do? You know, bigger and better, blah, blah, blah. So, um, in the process of putting all the facts and figures and everything together, but um, like to do it like we did last year, have the rally on the common on Saturday. Um, everybody's on board with this. Um, I spoke with Deb G from Rec. She would like to have folks go down to the um, to the booth and maybe get a a drone shot of everyone. And also, um, she's going to open it up so kids can make posters and things like that. And then they'll all come up to the common. Um, Senator Feeney has offered to DJ again. You know, we just want to stay right the way that we did it before, superstitious-wise, right? <laughs> so uh, he'll be DJing. And um, the JCs will be giving out some little handout things. Um, also, a large door, door prize of... Uh, a signed autograph um, Gronk shirt. So um, that's all free. It's not, you don't have to pay for the raffle. It's, it's, um, it's we're gonna do that. Um, we also, in the meantime, um, hopefully, Selectman DeBellis and myself on Sunday want to reach out to everybody in town to decorate their homes um, we'll come by with video cameras and um, maybe do some interviews of some certain people and and places around town um, that we can put a collective clip together to send down to the uh, to the boys again. The rally will be taped by Foxborough Cable again, and uh, Saturday night we'll get that down there so they can sleep well knowing that their hometown is rallying behind them. Um, I spoke with Jim. Um, off and on, so um, do you want to do some further updates? And No, you, you pretty much covered it. Um, kind of stepping back a little bit, it's at this table it's always a little awkward when you're dealing with the crafts because, for lack of a better term, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. They're in front of us for permits, so if we do too much, you're on that side doing favors, getting favors. If you don't do enough, you let an opportunity go by. So. <laughs> With the way we approached it, we, we, we called out to Jesse Enos over at the Patriots and said, look, it's a good opportunity to take the Route 1 entity, bring it to town mm -hmm. center, and let's all work together. So with that in mind, um, we said, how can we do that and, and, and involve the community, but not you know, save, save the duck boats for Boston, the big thing, but just mm -hmm. a hometown feel. Yeah. So um, they, they were very excited about it. So what they're going to do is provide a lot of those big eight-foot banners. They're going to print them up all around the common, mm -hmm. uh, similar to what we did last year. And then they're also going to give us 50 of them. Um, and then Linda's going to come up with 50. So it's kind of a shared thing. So we've got 100 blank white banners. Right. So we're going to have them available. If people want to come during the week, once we get them, yep. um, we're going to put grommets on them, take them home, decorate them, um, bring them back, and we'll put them up on the common. Right. And then we're going to have a contest for the nicest banner. And that's where the um, Gronk. Um, oh, that's cool shirt is going to come in so we'll have judges on that um, so it's 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 really a good opportunity to keep it in town you know the music go to the common um, 
celebrate a little bit, have yep. the banners up, do the video. The, so the, the video is probably going to happen this weekend. The video and, of yeah. around town, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then the following Saturday. Oh, the, so is, the, is the actual is rally? The actual next, rally. Noon, noon time in the common, similar to was it last year. And then so. 11 know, on the common, Jim. I'm sorry, sorry. 11. That's 11, okay. 11 to 12 or 11 to 12 Jinx something. Jinx. Yeah, that, it's yeah. got to be, yeah. Exactly the same. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so everything's, you know, it's worked. And it's a nice, it's almost a 50-50 type effort, the volunteers and the, and the um, you know, the capital expense for the banners. It, it works out nice. And then so talking to them, a couple other things that um, I asked them if, if they didn't mind if I shared, you know, the, the craft organization. So they had, uh, this is kind of broader for Foxborough. If you are a season ticket holder in Foxborough, they hosted a dinner a couple weeks ago on a Thursday night and invited all the Foxborough ticket holders into uh, the stadium. And it was a presentation and a question and answer. And basically, how can we make it better for the Foxborough season ticket holders? And one of the questions was, you know, seriously, do you really have a, um, a raffle, a, not a raffle, a, um, a lottery for the tickets? We've never seen them. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they, they took it seriously. And for the first time ever this year, if you are a Foxborough season ticket holder, you will be in a sole lottery by yourselves, and they'll pick two, two peop uh, one person for two tickets. Uh, you have to purchase it, but you have the ability to buy it. So that's the first time they've ever done it. It's kind of a reach out to, um, you know, to, to work better with the community. And then the other thing I, I think is, is, is kind of really neat is if you went to the ribbon cutting that we had at the Orpheum, they had a band called 36 Red, homegrown, Jim Politano, Larry Smith. Um, they invited them. They're going to bring them down uh, on a coach bus down to the Super Bowl so they can so Foxborough band can play oh, cool. for their team um, right, before, uh, right before the game and all the pre-games and then after and all the post-games. So. It, it, this cool. year, it's, it's you know, how do you let six go by and not do yeah. something? So I, I think it's just enough, not overboard. And um, but I wanted to thank Linda for kind of spearheading it. All the questions, all the sign-ups go through her Facebook page. Um, <laughs> she'll put it out there because uh, she volunteered for that. Um, and, and you know, and also because you know, Jim the, doesn't do Facebook, the yeah, the, right. um, yeah. the rec department is going to step up. So um, if you don't want to pick up a banner to decorate and bring back we'll, we'll give you the details but they'll set up tables at the booth and then the kids and the families can go down right. and do that and then bring them back right and i think alley. yeah i think that's what would be cool is they, they decorate them down there and then they bring them up to the common and we can get all that on video too and and foxville cable god bless them um they work with us really well and they'll make sure it gets turned around and gets back down there for saturday night for the part of the rally but it will be ongoing for the video, um, you know, this another week. Another exciting week in Foxborough. Yeah. It is. It's another. And the it's community is coming together football. for it. It's it's like an, you know, old-time rally, and it'll be fun. So hope to see everybody there. Spread the word. Let yeah, people, spread let the people word. Know, yeah. It should be fun. And we, got, we had a, a good showing last year, but we wanted, obviously wanted it to be bigger if we can. Mm -hmm. It will be bigger this year. Yeah. And some things, you know, I don't know if this will happen again this year, but they, if, you know, I'm not going to say it, I'm not, but no. considering the outcome of the game, uh, we may get we may get a live telecast from the, from the common again after the game. So uh, that's yeah, a possibility Yeah, that was too. that Good Morning America Good morning that we had America, to be up yeah, there at so what, 5 o'clock in the morning yeah, on Monday? It was, uh, it was like <laughs> 7 o'clock. like three of us like, up there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I think everybody was we got to get like that up, word out quickly. Before, yeah. Right? But yeah. But that's still a possibility too, so I'll look into that some more yeah. too. Yeah. Nice. Well, we won't even cross that. We don't even. No, know. I'm not going to say. We don't. We don't only talk depends about upon the result, right? We don't talk I'm about gonna, that. I'm not going to talk about that. Yeah. Are we, we going to have a friendly wager? Yeah, I know yes. you guys. We're going to work yeah. on that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> work on that. I don't know. I don't know if you can deal with uh, Philadelphia politicians yeah. or yeah. fans. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll work All on right. That. So I just wanted everybody to know that's that's the scoop and. Um, uh, thank you, Paul Feeney. Thank you, Foxborough Cable. Thank you, uh, Deb G. And um, the Orpheum has said that we can use their restrooms, their facilities. And um, if it's real bad in clement weather, we can go inside. Um, inclement means pouring rain. Other than that, if it's snowing, we love, you know, mm -hmm. the snowball, right? Just, so. just one other thing that's uh, come out, too, is that the, uh, the, the team is playing to leave from Foxborough on Monday. Monday. Uh, Monday morning. Um, it's got, I guess there's a little bit of a rally up, up at the stadium itself um, that they do typically every time they, they take this trip. Yeah, so, that's, they, um, yeah. so that's going to start, like, I think, around 8 o'clock in the morning. 
right? And that's and, uh, all of New England. That's all will of be New England. There. <laughs> so, so just to make people aware of that, but um, we just got alerted about that today. So, so just so everybody understands, things like this don't just happen mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. volunteers and right. people to spearhead it. And once again, you stepped up. I don't know if you volunteer or voluntold. Um, you know what was funny. You know, you know what was funny is Paul Palmer was talking to me and he said, um, "You know, I, I don't know if I got it right. So can you get in touch with Abby from Channel Ten?" And so I said, "Yeah, sure." So I I gave her a call. I said, "I just said it's Linda from Foxborough," and she said, "Oh, so you're the community coordinator, social." And I said, Congratulations. No, I said. No, I don't. I don't. Your title. I have Your no title. title. I said I'm a JC. That's what I am. And <laughs> she said, "Oh no, no. Someone, one of the secretaries called you that." And I said, "Well, that's you know, great to know." But no, <laughs> I am, you know, the JC. So yeah. Well, and, and, anyway, thank you. Oh, yeah. thank it's, you. Guys. It's much more. Thank appreciate. you guys. Thanks for all the. It's what we're made of. And just, just, just lastly, I mean, there's over at the stadium. They're incredibly busy, but they did take the time to right. sit. Yeah. To work this out, and they're actually Great. excited. You know, Jess is yep. over the top excited about yep. this. So it's Jeremy too. I've been talking to yeah. Jeremy. And and it'll be an, it's a nice yep. combined effort. It is. So. It is. All right. Thank, thank you. See. see you there. All right. Thanks, Linda. Uh, it's seven thirteen. We got a couple minutes before our our seven fifteen hearing. Our seven ten has withdrawn, I believe. We forgot 705. 705. Oh, <laughs> 705. <laughs> but our, our 710 did withdraw, correct? Yeah, yes, they did. Okay. They did. So, you know, so Nick. we're actually okay. So, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, it's, it's our pleasure to introduce to you and to the entire community Mr. Nick Riccio, who is our new building commissioner. Uh, Mr. Riccio has, uh, has a very decorated career in, in public service. He's... Uh, Served as the as a former as a former building commissioner in uh, town of Mansfield for uh, 2000 since actually since 2009. Um, 2000 is it 2009, Nick, or is it two? Is it the, yeah, it was, actually, it's 2003, I believe. Actually, 1992 to 2003, you were actually a assistant for zoning enforcement officer. Now you became the then you became the building commissioner. Actually, just after that, so um, he then left um, Mansfield in 2015 to become the uh, actually, state building commission for what about a week? About two months. Actually. <laughs> about two months. I was going to say like a week, and then uh, became the uh, and then the, the the town of Rentham building commissioner uh, since 2015 to uh, just before he started here. So we um, he has a, a very uh, very great background for. In fact, we're very blessed to have him. I think, and he's a great guy. Uh, people will like working with him. He's got a very good solid background in building services as well as he's an attorney, which is a, even. And even a bonus, I think, in that respect. So we, we appreciate that. So um, I give to you and I present to you this evening the, the new building commissioner, Mr. Nick Riccio. Thank you very much, Bill. Thank you for having me. And thank you, Bill and Mary Beth. It's a great transition for me. It's been very smooth and uh, great to be here. So thank you yeah. for having me. Welcome. Thank you very much. Any questions or uh, how about? I, did, I, I even had uh, the pleasure of dealing with uh, Nick, but I did I did talk to some other inspectors who happen to know him and. All the reviews I got were very positive. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it's good to meet you. Very, very well. encouraging. Thank so you. You got big shoes to fill. I know. I'm very <laughs> sensitive to the fact that I'm following a legend. Believe it. <laughs> do anything up to Bill standards. Do, do Bill. you smoke a pipe? No, I do not. <laughs> you better start. <laughs> You'll have something that we'll, we'll catch him on. That's, that's right. Well, geez, Bill's such a wonderful job here. It's a terrific department. Great people here. Great staff. Everybody's been wonderful. So glad to be part of this team. And um. I'll try to live up the bill standard for sure. Thank you. Nick, I, I don't want to embarrass you, but I, I, I've had the pleasure of working with Nick for a couple of years on the work I do over in Mansfield. Um, back in the interim town manager age that we went through, yeah. uh, I actually reached out to mm -hmm. Nick. I, I knew your abilities as a building inspector. I knew your abilities as um, a little bit as an attorney. Mm -hmm. But your reputation and the integrity, how you helped Mansfield, I actually asked if you'd consider to be our town manager prior to you, mm -hmm. um, so not, yeah. not a slight of you. No, that's, um, that's, that's, it's an interesting story about how we met too, by yeah, the way. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but um, I was hoping he'd say yes at least to, to get going, but yeah. he, he said no for, for, for very good reasons. Yeah, um, more staying away from the politics side of it, um, but hands down um, <laughs> the integrity and your reputation is is stellar as, as far as my experience is so I'm I very happy that very much I enjoy working yeah. with you and it's worked out very well the way it worked out so yeah <laughs> it's worked out better but thank you for saying that I appreciate it I've always enjoyed working with you in the past as well and 
Well, Nick and I have, have a mutual admiration side because we, we actually, when I was actually chosen as town manager in, in Mansfield, Nick was the interim. Yes. And, um, and so that's how I got to know him. And I said, geez, this guy would be a great building commissioner if I could lure him back to, uh, at, at the time, Denham. But I was thinking, you know, when I got here, I said, he's going to come to Foxborough someday, I hope. So, and that, so, so it worked out. Worked out great. Worked out great. We ended up working I mean, it's everything. Yeah. Yes, and I've heard um, good things from the people in the trades. Thank you. have yeah. dealt with you in the past and said you're very fair, very thorough. I appreciate that. They enjoyed that. working with you. So Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Look forward to working with you all. If I can be of any assistance, please feel free to con call me anytime. really mean that. So thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Nick. Good luck. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Enjoy your night. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. <clears throat> so again, our 710 is withdrawn. Uh, 716, uh, public hearing, Better Food, Foxborough, LLC, DBA, Tavolinos, and Lakeview Pavilion. Doc, can you open the Yep. Hearing? The Board of Selectmen, acting as the local licensing authority pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 138, will conduct a public hearing on Tuesday, January 23rd, 2018, beginning at 7.15 p.m. in the Gala Meeting Room, 40 South Street, on the acceptance of the provisions of the Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 138, Section 33B, sales of alcoholic beverages by on-premises licenses on Sundays and certain legal holidays between 10 a.m. And, and 12 p.m. for the following establishments, Lake Lakeview Pavilion and Tavolinos. All interested parties are welcome to attend. Hi, Tom. Hello, I'm Tom Peruna from Tavolino, and would like to request the extension to a 10 o'clock license on Sundays and certain legal holidays. Um, I'd like to pursue um, serving brunch on Sundays and feel we could only do it in a proper way if we had the ability to serve alcoholic beverages to those who would want it. And I've been with Tavolino for nine and a half years. I think I have a very good record with the Board of Selectmen, the local police department. And it, the alcohol will be served in a responsible fashion with people monitoring and supervising the service. So I'd ask that you would um, grant an extension or if you have some questions for me. Open up to the board. So right now you don't have a brunch? We don't. We open at 12 o'clock on Sundays. So to um, better our business as we look forward each year to increase sales and how to gain more revenue this year, we would like to extend our hours a couple hours and bring in one more meal plan being brunch. Okay. Is this the only Tavolino's location? We have uh, one other Tavolino in Westboro, and we have another sister restaurant called Sienna in Mashpee. Okay, any of them do brunches? So you have something to... Well, like our Westboro location has been open for eight years. They did brunch for several years, um, but they don't currently do it. Okay. I think with um, myself and our executive chef, we would have the knowledge to... Um, put the effort into making a plan for staffing, food, beverages, and everything to put that together. Good. Any other questions? No reservations. Okay. No. You want to make a reservation, you said? <laughs> <laughs> no reservations on, on, the, on the application. Thank you. Uh, wait. Being this is a, a public hearing, is um, anybody in, in the audience have any Questions or concerns regarding this? Seeing none. Um, now, we have a public hearing with, with two entities. Okay. The other entity. We'll do the, enti the other entity before we um, close the public hearing. Sure. Makes sense. Hi. Hello. Hi. Patty McCarthy, service um, um, manager for Lakeview Pavilion. And Kim Wallace, Kim Wallace controller. controller. Um, we're just looking to extend as well. Um, we typically have had you know, our 12 o'clock license. We have had extensions before for the 11 o'clock. We typically have each year. We've had those extensions. So we do hold some occasional showers, um, brunch weddings on Saturdays, Sundays. Um, and they typically would start at 10 or 11. So in the past, we've just said, well, you know, if you start at 10, alcohol service won't start till 11. So sometimes they push off to 11, other ones still do a 10. They don't all have alcohol service. I mean, typically, very few of them have a full bar or cash bar, but some of them, most, for the most part, it's mimosas and Bloody Marys. It's a it's very limited bar, usually just kind of from a station. But we were just looking just to be able to offer that to our you know, customers. 
Let's say usually those events are 50 to 80 people, mostly women for baby showers and um, wedding showers. So that's really all it is, is just to be able to offer them to come in a little bit earlier and have a drink when they arrive rather than waiting until their food service starts. Well, food service would always be in conjunction with it as well. Um, so that's really what we were looking for. Okay. No. So um, any questions from the audience? Seeing none. Um, Tom happens to be the president of Fox Cares, mm -hmm. and Lakeview has been a member since the, the get-go. Um, I, can't, I can't think of two better establishments um, that represent responsible um, service. Mm -hmm. So um, I, have, I have no reservations. So um, I have no further comments either. Uh, we need a motion to close the hearing Ooh. first. Move to close public hearing. Second. Motion made, second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Um, move to approve uh, the extended uh, uh, service hours from uh, to, to 10 a.m. for both uh, Lake, Lakeview Pavilion and Tavolinos. Second. Motion made, second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good luck. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate Thank the nice comments as well. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now you see can make you a all. reservation. Take care now. All right. We'll see. <clears throat> um, this next one isn't a public hearing, is it? It's not. No. Okay. Um, folks from Toby Keith's here? Uh, we'll take the 740 uh, CRG Foxborough LLC DBA Toby Keats. I love this bar and grill. Change of manager. Feeling better, by the way? Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh. Um, first, I'd like to thank you for showing grace to me and my family when we were <laughs> sick the last time we were supposed to appear. Sounds like the whole state was sick. <laughs> yeah, it's been a rough one. Yep. Um, first, I'd like to address the... Um, of, Can you uh, just state your name for the record? My name is Tawny Costa. Okay, thank you. Um, on behalf of CRG Foxborough, I want to extend a formal apology for the erratic behavior displayed by Scott Bowen at the town meeting on December 28, 2017. The type of behavior displayed by Mr. Bowen at the town meeting is in no way representative of what we stand for as a company at Toby Keith's I Love This Bar and Grill. We hold the town of Foxborough in high esteem and take our relationship with the town very seriously. Mr. Bowen was immediately terminated due to this incident. Please accept our most sincere apology for this unfortunate incident. <clears throat> we look forward to a long and prosperous relationship with you and the community of Foxborough moving forward. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Burke? Yes. <clears throat> you are the new manager of yeah. the, the paperwork here. Can you just tell us about your experience, please? I have uh, pretty much a lifelong experience in the restaurant. Field um, over 20 years um, working in Seekonk, Massachusetts. Started at the old Grismel, um, 15 plus years in Providence, uh, bars, restaurants, and nightclubs, and two years now at Toby Keith's. Um, unfortunately, this arrived on my plate unexpectedly, but I'm ready to step up and um, show the, the board in the town of Foxborough that we're taking the measures to continue to do what we do best and continue to strive for greatness at Toby Keys. And I hope it's Tom. <laughs> I hope it's something different than what the former manager thought was what you did best. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Can I just have uh, over ten years experience managing as well. So this is something that's not new to me. And I look forward to this opportunity as, as well. Um, I'll open up to any questions from the board. Uh, so Brian you were the assistant manager there? Uh yes. Okay, and you'd been there a couple of years? Be two years in March. And have you had beverage service um, um, training in the past? And As far as training at 
Toby Keys or in general? In general. Yeah, I've had management experience in large corporations, um, some great companies I've worked for in the past, and 10 years plus management experience, restaurant, bar, and nightlife. Okay. How many hours a week are you going to be there as a manager? Uh, it'll be 50 plus on most weeks. <clears throat> event days, event weeks will probably be increased. <laughs> How many assistant managers uh, does Toby Keith have? We have two assistant managers. As of now, we'll be looking to hire a third manager. So there'll always be either an assistant or a manager on any given night of the week? Yes. That's all I have. Jenny? Um, <coughs> you've been the, you were the assistant manager under the previous regime? Correct. I'll tell you, Mr. Bowen did not make a good impression on the Board of Selectmen or the town of Foxborough. There have been problems up at, at Toby Case. And lots of times they're reported on the 24J reports. I don't know if you're familiar with those. I know it's just a Massachusetts thing. It's mm -hmm. when you're uh, picked up for DUI, they ask, where's the last place you've had a drink? And Toby Keys is lots of times has been mentioned, uh, has been named. Um, you were assistant manager for two years there. How can you convince or assuage our concerns that um, things will be a little better with Toby Keys? Yeah, so I, when I did start, um, there was a whole change of management at that point as well. And that was part of the reason why I was brought in at that time. Um, those reports were brought to me as well. The number of cases that was public, um, I believe there was an article believe in the Boston Globe that came out with those reports. And we did take that very serious at that time, and we took the steps to correct those issues. And I, I don't know the numbers offhand, but I believe in the past two years, you would see a dramatic change in, in those um, results. So I, I would continue that and keep enforcing that with the strict um, alcohol service policies that we have in place today and improving those. Okay, thank you. Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> just a, a question. Um, Foxborough has a very active group uh, of alcohol license holders called Fox Cares that, that does a lot of work in trying to uh, prevent 24J incidences as well as provide um, appropriate measures of training for all the, the license holders to try and set the right example so that everybody sort of looks out for each other. And that's, and that's important because Ultimately, the town is, is the license overseer for the entire, entire community. That group was started probably about three, four years ago, three, about three years ago, Dave. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it's been very successful. And, and I don't know how active uh, your establishment has been in that, but I would strongly encourage you to become part of that group because um, you'll learn that be, be, being part of the group is, is much more, um, it's, it's, it's actually very helpful to how you're going to manage your establishment going forward. And it just, it offers you that opportunity to ask questions and to get training that you may not see other, in other, other ways. So I think um, it's, it's actually a good group. And you're not required to do it, but it's something that you certainly are encouraged to do because it's actually a good, good step forward. <clears throat> Thank so. you. We'll, we'll definitely move forward with that and reach out to them. Fox Cares, your Fox Cares. That's Absolutely. So, so fortunately, mm -hmm. I asked Tom Petruna to, to stick around. He's the president of Fox Cares. Oh. Um, Great. And mm -hmm. we ha uh, they have a meeting on January 31st at 2.30. Um, hope to see you there. Yeah. And, All attention to attend the meetings. And, 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 and Tom can give, you, can give you the details uh, afterwards. But, um, you know, the, the fact that they share best practices, um, uh, share some of the issues that each individual establishment is going, going through, um, it's just another resource to help if you're having some issues. Um, and I'll tell you, all, just about all the members up at Patriot Place, all the establishments up there, including the stadium, um, participate. And I, I think, you know, knock on wood, um, it's really helped. It's, it's, it's come a long way in the last in the last mm -hmm. three years. I think um, for responsible service. So uh, it's we can't force you to do it, but we strongly encourage it. Absolutely. Just have one more question. Yep. Uh, we've just talked about the alcohol service, you know, at Toby Keys. Are you also, as a manager, are you also responsible for making timely payments to the town of Foxborough in, you know, fees and? 
<clears throat> he that was, would not be. No, <laughs> that was not him. I can me personally, no. So okay. there was a, we had a regional manager in place for um, approximately seven years. He was recently terminated um, for reasons um, about like the payments and there was, um, recently we found out there was some theft and we have the Foxborough police involved with that. Um, moving forward, I, I, I will be doing all that. So it will be done in a timely manner. I, he didn't, there was a few things that were loopholes, like incorrect address, so we weren't receiving the bill, but moving forward, I personally will be responsible for it, so I can assure you all that it, everything will be um, made in a timely manner. So I, I do apologize for that. Okay, thank you. That's helpful, thank right. you. One more quick question, and what is your position, Tawny? I, I see you've signed as manager, but are you like the general manager, or? Um, no, I'm the manager of the entity that owns, owns Toby Keith. Okay. Well, I just have one more oh, question. I noticed uh, on the application fee that Mr. Burke paid the fee with his personal check to the ABCC in Foxborough. Is that the usual that the, the person applying pays on the, in um, not the entity? I'm not sure about that. I don't know that answer. I, I mean, I never noticed that yeah. a personal check was we, we just reimbursed was. him. Yeah. So oh, he just okay. did it yeah. because it was. Yeah, I just wanted to get the paperwork. Yeah. Been yeah. just easier, well, okay. Uh, All right. With no. the transition going okay. on there. Uh, Tawny's actually located in, in Arizona. <clears throat> I'm in Arizona. So she's, yeah. she's actually getting on top of all the issues right now and, and, okay. and has been very good to work with. I can, I can, I can personally attest to that. So, yeah. okay. so Thank you. We, should be, we should be fine. Okay. Any further questions? Mm -hmm. I have a motion. Uh, move to approve uh, Mr. Burke as uh, the uh, new manager of uh, Toby Keith's I Love This Bar and Grill. Second. Motion made. Second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Good luck. Look Thanks. forward to working with you. Best of luck to you. Tom, get him. <laughs> <laughs> had they never been? Early on, they were. Oh. Oh, the, uh, Mr. Chairman, I know, the, I know the Brian's here, so just want to say thanks for all your efforts in this as well. And, uh, Appreciate the uh, you know you putting me in touch with with Tanya on this situation and uh, glad it all worked out the way it did and um, so I want to say no I appreciate that so and congratulations to the entire organization on a great win this past weekend so thank you thanks Brian great bye, -bye. thank you seem to be walking better yeah, yeah that's good <laughs> um, well, I had a schedule nice. good to be back <laughs> um, oh that's right you're sick. Yeah. <laughs> no, just um, selectman's update. Um, I had the pleasure of watching last week's uh, last meeting, um, and I just have a, a, a couple of comments. Um, yeah, you know, it's you know regarding the the, the meeting policy. Um, I read through it and I, re I reached out to Bill. Um, I think in an effort to try and get an overreaching policy, we've made it way too complicated and, and, and way too overbearing. So I think um, I think we, we need to review that and, and try and simplify it. Um, I gotta believe that with the opening of this space, there's there's gotta be ample opportunity for people to, to get meeting space now. Um, and it's just it's just a coordination and, and schedule and thing. Uh, but I like I like to simplify that. And and then you know, with, with that policy, I think there was um, somebody asked about the vehicle policy too. Mm -hmm. I I, would, I thought that was that was resolved, and, and it's still not resolved. So I think I think we need to look at our policies and the timing that it takes. But before it, it, you know, when it gets to this board, and either we approve it or if we don't approve it, and we need to bring it back just to you know kind of keep it keep it on a schedule. Um, you know, I, I think I think you know that should be a, a future agenda topic. Mm -hmm like next meeting okay. but it really wasn't the vehicle policy per se it was yeah, it's just it's a piece of it a I, I know it's a, it's, yeah. a, it's a piece of it yeah. but the, it's it's part of a, a bigger policy that yeah. you know it's it's kind of just out there yeah. um, I know you guys are working hard to put these policies together and um, get them going and get people trained and, and everything else but just like to, to go back and take a look at the uh, the policy history and, and the timing and, and sure. everything else. We're actually working on that for the town of right now. So. Yeah. But also the the um, what we were talking about, we're having another meeting on was it the 
the 22nd. We're waiting for the vendor. We all agree on what we want. We're just waiting for the person to create the logos for us. It's the logos. It's the I was probably coughing at that point. At that point. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's okay. that's what it was. it was. It's about the logos. Trying to okay. So if we can just circle back on the on these policies and, and, mm -hmm. and do a complete review on them I, 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 and have a discussion, I, I think that would be good. Sure. Um, we love policies. <laughs> <laughs> you have them in our policies. That's, that's, good. that's all I had. Anybody have anything else? No, I, we attended the MMA, Mass Municipal Association, um, conf, uh, convention this weekend. And Bill was, uh, once again, <laughs> elected to the MIIA Board of Directors. Yeah. Of directors. So congratulations. Well, thank, you. thank you. He was worried, but I did vote for him. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jenny. I appreciate that. Oh, so you were the one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think we have a new Eagle Scout? Yeah. yeah. Um, Jim and I attended... Um, Jack Bellinger's Eagle Ceremony on Saturday afternoon. Very well attended, um, a lot of people, so it was, uh, it was good. Congratulations, Jack. Um, anything else? Uh, Bill? Okay, so uh, just a few things for you. Um, the uh, one thing that we did, we haven't mentioned to you all, but we, we actually, through Caitlin's work and through Mike, Mike Weber's work, They've combined efforts to produce a podcast of our meetings, so you can actually down you can download if you go to the, wherever you get your podcast information on iTunes or or, or if it's a uh, an, another if it's not an Apple product obviously um, you can actually uh, if you go to the town of Foxborough podcast area you can actually download our meetings. So after we after we produce our meetings, we, they get downloaded into a podcast form. You can so if you're listening in your car, you can listen to a, a meeting that's been that's been done uh, previous days. Um, just want to I, I uh, want to say first I say, I said earlier just a minute ago congratulations to the Patriots on another Super Bowl uh, trip to uh, this one to Minnesota. So we want to wish them all well in, in their efforts. I think our next meeting will be right after that game. So we, we're going to just uh, we're certainly wish them the very best. And of course, participate in the, uh, in the in the rally that's going to happen over next Saturday, and and uh, and just send them all our best wishes and hope that they can bring back another trophy. Um, the uh, just a reminder, I didn't. Uh, Nick was reminding me of this when I was when I was thinking of, of him at the time was that Bill Kaspar's retirement party is this weekend, uh, this Friday night. Just make sure everybody's aware of that. Um, if you haven't got your tickets yet, or if, you're, if you can't make it. Certainly understand, but um, so it's, it's, it's no nice longer a surprise. surprise. Now. So, no, it, no, it, 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 no, for him, it, for him, no, he actually knows. I was just he knows. Say, yeah. He knows. It's no longer a surprise. Yeah. Lot, you know, you know, there's no surprises in life. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Yeah. You know, he found out. I think about the two days after we tried to keep it a surprise. Okay. Anyways, but uh, but Bill is um, obviously a you know a great friend to all of us, and he did a terrific job for this community. So we're very very pleased to be able to do something for him. Uh, again, just uh, we went to the MMA annual meeting this past week, um, and um, and it was a great meeting. I, I it's uh, it's a little longer meeting for me, but it's uh, but, but I will tell you it's uh, it was great. Uh, the governor spoke on on Friday morning, indicating that uh, we'll we'll see uh, we should be seeing he's going to file a bill on on state aid next week, so we'll get an indication of that. Uh, at the Maya board meeting, I was able to to learn that our uh, health insurance rates are, are going to be coming out within the next two weeks, but the range was actually, uh, the overall uh, increase was somewhere around 4.8 percent, which is actually significantly lower than it has been. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're pleased to see that, um, see that direction. Um, I taped another edition of the Aspel Keegan show this, just yesterday, but it was uh, a, actually a, a videography of walking around the entire building. So as to give people, those people who haven't seen the building, to get a chance to see all the offices, and, and Mike did, did, is working on that piece right now. So we'll look for that to be coming out in the next the next few days. Um, another ADCOM meeting tomorrow night, um, and uh, uh, budgets are being presented as we speak. We've also been working, I, I've established a, a, a town manager working group on the CIP policy. Uh, Jenny's been participating in that process, as well as um, uh, Sean McCarthy from the ADCOM, um, uh, Frank Spillane, the, the, the moderator, Randy, uh, and Mary Beth. <laughs> and we've been working on drafting a new, uh, some new changes to that. And so we're meeting again actually tomorrow uh, to, to review it once more. So we have, uh, we have a couple drafts in place. We're going to be starting to 
and we'll present something to the board, this board as well as the ADCOM before we put it forward as an article for town meeting consideration. And then finally, we are doing the year in review process, and uh, we wanted to make sure, and Caitlin's been working on that process and came up with some great ideas of, of things that happen throughout the year. Uh, we'd like to get your feedback. Uh, we're working on it now, so um, but we didn't want to put it in final form until you actually had some input to that, just in case we just missed anything. We, and we inevitably, when we go through this process, we, you, you folks always come up with something that we that we missed. So we want to make sure we give you that opportunity to uh, to weigh in on that before we finalize it. <coughs> Those are my my on, topics. On for that tonight. note, um, the first two, the flash mob at Stop and Shop and the Super Bowl win. Mm -hmm. Put something in there about the rally. Yeah, the, ra the rally on the common. Yep. Also, yep. Um, I would try to weave somewhere into there all of the things that the JCs do for the town of Foxborough, mm -hmm. whether it's you know decorating the common or putting the banners up. Um, I don't know. We'll have pictures of them oh, actually nice. participating in those rallies, so we can. It's actually a, a videography of all the different things, pictures throughout the year. So we should have pictures of them participating in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the night of remembrance that we yeah. had, they they actually co yeah. coordinated that as well. All right. So it's a good thought. If you have <clears> other <throat> ones, feel free to let us know. We'll, we'll a lot of stuff. Was that, yes, a lot of stuff. Yeah. It was an interesting year. Good stuff. Some good, good year. Stuff. Some bad stuff. Okay, that's that's my stuff, Mary Beth. Yeah. Um, so we concluded customer service training yesterday. Uh, since November, we've been um, holding mandatory training for all our employees, uh, with the idea that we'd like to roll out a customer service program, you know, sort of to kick off our new building, but also for all the other departments around the town. Um, so in order to make sure, you know, we're planning to survey people as they come in, you know, with survey questions, how was your experience, how did you feel when you came in, how did you feel when you leave, we're, we're working on the wording of those questions, but we felt in fairness uh, to the employees, we thought we'd brush up on those skills. So we had a person from our Maya EAP program come in and do four sessions with employees on customer service excellence. It was tips and tricks and some workshop, some role playing on um, dealing with customers and uh, exemplifying an excellent standard in customer service. So in February, we'll be rolling out um, the survey cards at every department, whether it's you know DPW, library, COA, every all around town um, at each department. And uh, we've also asked employees to, you know, let us know, give us feedback on the questions. We'd also um, we'll provide a draft to the board so they can give us feedback on the questions we're asking. Chairman Feldman has given me several samples from town halls that he's traveled in. Um, towns that have customer service surveys. Uh, so that will be rolling out in February. Um, personnel board met tonight where uh, the state has required us to revise our quarry policy, which we adopted back in 2015 and bargained in with all of the unions. And we, um, we quarry every person that we hire, even our contingent workforce like seasonal employees and, for example, volunteers and presenters at the library and um, Recreate, people teaching a recreation program. So it's a very important policy for us and um, the new law requires some changes. So we're working with our HR counsel, Jack Dolan, and the personnel board. We visited the item, uh, the issue today, and we're gonna revisit it again in two weeks. They'll hopefully come up with a final um, revised policy for your uh, review at a future meeting. Um, we, as Bill said, we continue to meet with the department heads on budget meetings. Um, we're uh, on a schedule where whoever's presenting to the ADCOM on Wednesday night, we're meeting with them prior to that to talk about their budgets and uh, flesh out some of the questions. And then our own budget, we've met with our liaisons on that and um, getting ready to present tomorrow. And that's all I have. We'll be presenting to this board on the February 20th the uh, proposed budget for, 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 uh, for the town. The, the, we're proposing the, 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 the proposed budget that we have at this point in time. So um, we've been meeting on a regular basis on every Wednesday with, uh, with the ADCOM. The meetings have gone actually quite well so far. Um, so we're, uh, we're pleased to see that, um, that everybody's coming, coming in pretty, uh, pretty reasonable with their overall, overall budgets. So that's it. Okay. Uh, action items. 
Um, <clears throat> Move to approve a one-day auctioneer's license for Motorcycles of Manchester, Inc., doing business as Mom South for 127.18 from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. to raise money for charity. Second. Motion made. Second. Any further discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Move to accept a gift donation in the amount of $525 to the Council on Aging to pay for two programs held at the Senior Center and for the Senior Center Holiday Party from the Friends of Foxborough Seniors. Second. Motion made, second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Move to approve a one-day wine and malt beverage license for the Orpheum Theater for 2 18 from 5.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. for Postcards from Heaven, Maureen Hancock. Second. Uh, motion made, second. Under discussion, thank you, Bob Hickey. For getting this well in advance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotta love Bob. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 I'm gonna recuse yeah. myself. Yeah. Uh, move to approve a one day wine and malt beverage license for the Orpheum Theater for 2 3 18 from 6 p.m. until 11 30 p.m. for the Oh No's and the Beatles Tribute Band concert. Second. Motion made, second. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Recuse myself. Uh, move to approve the seventh annual Bailey's Run for, for the Bailey's Team for Autism uh, event on March 25th, 2018, with the run starting at 10 a.m. Second. Motion made, second. Any further discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Move to approve the 8th Annual 5K, 10K Road Race for the Foxborough Regional Charter School on Saturday, 10 2018, from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Second. Motion made. Second. Any further discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Move to approve the 12 28 17 Board of Selectmen's min Minutes. Second. Motion made. Second. Any further discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Is that it? Is it? it? Move to adjourn. Is it? Second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. It's got to be a record for January. Wow. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good job.